everyone. Greeting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May you all be filled with the Holy Spirit and uh, God bless everyone for those who participate to the communion service. This communion service is the third communion for 2022 at our church. And also this is the first communion Sunday for Lent season, the 40 days of Lent. I started Ash Wednesday and ended in uh, Resurrection Sunday, Easter Sunday on April 17. So today I'd like to welcome those who believe in Jesus Christ as personal Savior and baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are welcome to the communion service. I believe that you all prepare the communion element at your home to participate in this communion service together. Uh, let me read a scripture text which is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 53 to 58. <clears throat> then Jesus said to them, Most surely I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink the blood, you have no life in you. Whosoever eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up in the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me and I in him. This is the bread which come down from heaven, not as your father ate the manna and are die. He who eat this bread will live forever. Amen. Shall we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your protection, your guidance, and your blessing to each and every one of us. Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you for the online communion service uh, today as the third communion service for this year. And also we give thanks to you for every blessing that you gave us throughout our life. Heavenly Father, today we gather here for the communion service to remember you, to remember your love, to remember you broke your body on the cross and shed your blood on the cross for us in order to have eternal life. Be with each and every one of us. Be with the whole service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Because you were forsaken, I'm accepted, you were condemned. I'm alive and well, your spirit is within me, because you died and rose again. I'm accepted, because you were
Jesus, you are my King. Jesus, you are my King. Amazing love, how can it be that you, my King, would die for me? I'd like to give you a short meditation upon the Word of God for uh, during this communion service or during this pandemic time of uh, suffering the whole world. And this scripture text is very encouraging uh, text for us. It is uh, Hebrew chapter 4, verse 16. Maybe we all know this scripture text. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and, and find grace to help in a time of need. So this is, this is a very uh, meaningful scripture text and a very encouraging scripture text. And it is also invitation of our Lord Jesus Christ to come boldly to the throne of grace. Uh, that, that, that is so meaningful because you know, in the Old Testament, nobody can enter to the, to the throne of grace. Only the high priest can enter for the sacrifice once a year. So now Jesus Christ opened the door for all of us and He inviting us, come, come boldly, because we're going to receive the grace and mercy from the throne of grace. In the scripture text, it said, Jesus Christ has the power to see all our suffering. In verse 13 said, in the eyes of Jesus, everything is naked. Nobody can hid uh, from Him. He can see our suffering, He can see our joy, He can see our problems, and He can see our tears. And Jesus has that, that, uh, that power, and also He can work, uh, solve the problem, whether He has that, that kind of um, power, because in verse 15 says Jesus is the high priest and he has uh, experienced all those suffering, temptation, trial until the uh, death on the cross, that kind of priest and he sympathized all our pain. So he understand our temptation, he understand our rejection, he understand our, uh, our need, our poverty, and also he understand our tears and he understand uh, our loneliness too. Everything he has faced already. So he he knows how we suffer when we have those those problems. And then he knows how to solve those problems too. He has that kind of power. Because he has that the, the power in the Bible and uh, many powers, but for some example that uh, he has a seeding power to bless us. And He has a cleansing power by His blood. He has the healing power until uh, all, all also to raise the dead from, uh, from the grave. And He has the mountain moving power too. And 
also in the last chapter of Matthew said, all the power of heaven and earth is belong to Jesus Christ. All power, every power, he has that kind of power. So he is inviting us. He had that kind of uh, the sense of uh, sympathizing, and he has the power to solve the problem. So we, he invited us, boldly come to the throne of grace, and you will see the mercy and the grace from him. That is great uh, meditation for us during this difficult time. Whenever you face difficult time, problem, you go to the throne of grace. He is waiting there. That's a blessing for us. And most importantly, this is uh, important that you have to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. The night when Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and broke it and said, This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And after that, he took the cup and said, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. Shall we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this communion elements we give thanks to you for your love and sacrifice for us you died on the cross for us you broke your body and you pain suffering and you shed your blood on the cross in order to save us from sin O oh, heavenly father bless each and every one of us those who are planning to take this communion element bless this communion elements too in jesus name we pray amen as you prepare your communion element at home, uh, take the communion bread and cup and pray together and let us eat and pray together with me. After the communion service, Jesus always mentioned that we have to help the needy people. Many needy people around us, uh, near and far. Especially, you know, we have many uh, people suffering in Burma. Uh, so we are sending this uh, communion offertory to the needy people. Our family school, and the widows, and the blind school leprosy and many people suffering in the IDP uh, and uh, many people around the world. So if you are blessed, you can send your contribution for the needy people to our church, our treasurer, or also you can send uh, through our website too. And I'll pray for every one of you for birthday, for memorial service, and for anniversary. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again for the communion service. We thank you for everything you have done for us. And we give thanks to you for your protections and your guidance and your blessing to all of us. Even though we cannot go to church for the in-person worship service, we give thanks to you that you plan for us online worship service every week and also communion service. Heavenly Father, I pray for this English Worship congregation. Uh, we need the spiritual leaders and the leaders for the English Worship service. Uh, bless them, bless each and every young people and continue to guide them, my Heavenly Father. And today we collected our communion offertories and bless all these uh, offertories. Also bless upon 
Uh, those who contribute for the needy people, uh, be with them. Bless them, O oh, Heavenly Father. We pray as people, those who are birthday on this month of March, be with them. Bless them, O oh, Heavenly Father. Continue guide them with your power, your blessings, so that your life will be successful. And uh, I glorify your name. And also I pray for uh, those who have anniversary on this month. Be with the couples and be with the family and bless them and continue to guide them, O oh, Heavenly Father. Some people may have memorial service for their family. Be with them, Heavenly Father. Uh, comfort them and give them peace for oh, this difficult time, O oh, Heavenly Father. And today I give thanks to you for everything, for the church, uh, for the children, for the young people, for the uh, adults, and also for many people, those who are serving for the worship service, for the ministry, for the evangelism, and the church building. Be with every one of them, oh, Heavenly Father, and continue to bless them. We pray today for our country, Myanmar, uh, grant them peace, O oh, Heavenly Father, and we pray for the uh, battleground in Ukraine with Russia and uh, we need your guidance and we need peace from you uh, for the whole world, oh, Heavenly Father. And I pray that everybody, everybody will have a uh, blessed time during this Lent season and glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now receive benediction. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship and anointing of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of us from now and forevermore. Amen.